Can I get to one other thing that you talked about in your testimony? So there are 260 million cars and light duty trucks in the United States today. If you wanted to move to all electric vehicles in America tomorrow, do, do we produce enough critical minerals? You know, where are we going to get the minerals from? Could we do it without relying on minerals from Russia, China, Chinese controlled mines? I mean, the Secretary of Transportation the other day said, well, put everybody in electric vehicles. Can you kind of run down the possibility of doing that, what it would take, how many years, and what it's going to cost to get those minerals? We couldn't do it ourselves. There's no way we can do it ourselves. Um, the U.S. is currently about 12 percent of total non-fuel minerals tonnage, and a lot of that is aggregate for construction. Um, we don't produce enough to support what companies are trying to build out now in terms of battery manufacturing capacity, or for that matter, semiconductors fabs in manufacturing to support all of the other things that, that, that are needed. Um, I mentioned Chinese dominance. I've, I've, I've talked about this in House Energy and Commerce testimony and other hearings. Um, the mining industry is as much under pressure as other basic industries are to make investments and to be able to um, find opportunities to execute on, to be able to bring those into the market. Um, and it doesn't help when you have an uncertain um, uh, uh, political context in your own market. Um, so this is, this is really an issue. Um, there are best practices for the mining industry out there, by the way. Um, the mining industry responds to what comes out of the World Bank, um, to the ICMM, which, which uh, provides cross-cutting standards for, for companies for ESG and, and best practices in, in, in mining operations. So it's not like the industry is not responsible or not looking at how to be responsible going into the future. Um, but it's the same problem. You have to have access to the minerals. You have to have the capital to develop the minerals. You have to have the supply chains to support them. One last point about this. Everything that we're planning in the United States, the announcements, the joint ventures, invariably include partners that have supply chains that they can bring into our country. That means international sourcing. So we're going to continue to rely on um, metals and materials that are produced outside of the United States because that's the fastest way for the industry to try to accelerate given all the time frames that, that are under discussion.